guys welcome back I hope that you're all doing good today I'm super excited we are chatting all about the new homeschool year I'm gonna be talking with you guys about everything from some of the curriculum that we're using some of the read alouds that I'm planning on using with the kids morning basket stuff we are gonna be talking all about everything um, involving this upcoming school year. So I'm really, really excited to do today's video. It's been a while since I got to just sit down and chat school with you guys. All right, so I really do have so, so much to share with you guys. Uh, the curriculum portion of this video is sponsored by The Good and the Beautiful because I do partner with them for our curriculum. Um, but I'm gonna start off with the morning basket portion. Um, some of the things that are inside of our morning basket that I'm really excited to include this year. You guys, these nature books from Amazon, I'm obsessed. Uh, this first one is called Nature All Around Trees, and I think that there is a plants one and also a bugs one possibly. Um, but this talks all about trees. It is beautiful. The illustrations in here are beautiful and I'm a sucker for a good nature book. So that shouldn't surprise you guys that I have that in here. I also have this slow down 50 mindful moments in nature. This book is so, so special. If you open it up, it just has these like normal everyday things that we don't think about in nature. And it really does make you slow down and appreciate just the beauty and the miracle of what that little thing does in the broad spectrum of nature. I also picked up this book called Created with Emotions and this is from the Daily Grace Co. Um, but it is by Aubrey Coleman and I'm really excited about this book. It goes through and talks about how God created our emotions and how God himself has emotions. And when we choose to follow God with our emotions, they can be used in a holy way. But when we are led by our flesh, um, we can sin in our emotion and we can let our emotions lead us. We have gone through a few of the emotions, but I really feel like this is something that could be drawn out for like a whole month and studied because there's just so much to unpack here. And since I mentioned that one, I will go ahead and mention this. This is called The People of God, God's Plan for His Church. This is also from the Daily Grace Co. Uh, I purchased this through, I think they had like their $5 sale, and that is when I got this. This book is by Sarah Morrison. We have not read this yet, um, but I am excited to. All right, talking about the theme of morning basket. This looks like I spilled coffee all over that. Isn't that so nice? Uh, we are gonna be doing the Simply Spanish, the Simple Spanish, Charlotte Mason Simple Spanish, Exploring Life in Nature in Spanish this year. Uh, Christy from One Blessed Mess had shared this and I know Joyful Noise Learning, I believe, shared this as well. Um, she shared that she had used this. Yes, I remember watching her videos. <laughs> so I will try to link those down below if you want like a video showing lessons and walkthrough. I know she did an amazing job on that. Um, and so yeah, this is simple Spanish. It is supposed to be just that simple Spanish. A couple days a week we're gonna do this. It shares a poem, a book, a phrase, um, and a sequence in Spanish that you can learn. Uh, we are also gonna be doing our daily affirmations per the usual. Uh, so many of you guys have asked about this. I have had a lot of my friends on YouTube share this and I'm super excited because it just goes to show you how you are faithful with something that God calls you to do in your family and he will multiply it. And the fact that I am now seeing so many of you guys use this with your families every day, Hearing your babies say these words is, ugh, it gives me so much hope and excitement for this next generation because we are raising warriors and disciples for Christ. So keep at it, daily affirmations. I will link this file below if you didn't get it. And then lastly, which brings me into the good and the beautiful portion of this video, musical multiplication. We're still going strong with this, you guys. We have got the A, B, and part of C memorized. We are gonna have A, B, C, and D memorized this year. If you guys have never heard about this, it makes learning your multiplication tables 
like enjoyable. <laughs> they are songs that you can sing that you can learn your multiplication facts through. Um, so you memorize it that way and it just makes it so much easier and nicer. So some of the curriculum that we are using this year, we are going to be doing the Simply Good and Beautiful Math. I have Simply Good and Beautiful Math uh, 1, 2, and 3 that we're going to be utilizing in our homeschool this year. If you guys have missed any of those, I did flip throughs for a good portion of them that I can link up here for you guys. I am so excited about it. I am so excited that they took the portions um, of the beautiful stories and illustrations from their original math, but condensed it to make it more user-friendly, especially if you have a bigger family, and just more simple. So I, you know, simply good and beautiful math. That is what we're gonna be doing for our math this year, and I'm really excited about that. We are also doing, um, all my kids are doing language arts from the good and the beautiful. Like I said, I've done so many flip throughs and videos. I love the fact that it is beautiful illustration. God is woven through it. Um, it's open and go, so I don't have to worry about planning ahead or prepping. Praise the Lord above. So my youngest school aged ish kid uh, is going to be four in November, and her name is Ingrid. And I picked up this book from The Good and the Beautiful, and it's called Poetry Parties for Littles. And it is the cutest little poem book. It has themed poems in it, but it also has these different crafts and party ideas in here. I absolutely love it. Um, like, there's a whole section of poems on ladybugs. There's a craft ladybug puppet craft and then also ladybug fruit cookies. Look at that. How dang cute is that you guys? Oh my gosh. So I feel like this can be utilized no matter what the ages of your kids are. There's a spider poem section that'll be really fun to do in October with a craft, a spider hat craft with it, spider crackers, and then additional activities that you can use. So this is gonna be really fun. Those poems will be really fun to do with my preschooler. Honestly, all my kids are gonna have to sit and listen to them, who am I joking? <laughs> um, but we also picked up the Doodles and Pre-Writing for Littles. They also have a book too for this. But these books are really fun because it gets your kids used to holding a pencil. Sorry, my brain just stopped for a minute. Uh, if you have kids, you know what that feels like. Um, but it's got just dot to dot practicing tracing and holding your pencil. Um, as you go through the book, they get a little bit more difficult. Um, I use the term difficult very loosely because it's still for pre-K. Um, but it just gradually helps your child to build on their skills. So this is what we're going to be using for Ingrid as well. One of the science units that we're going to be using from the Good and the Beautiful is the mammals unit. And I I am super excited. I plan to do this later this fall with the kids. We're working through the safety unit right now, uh, but this mammals unit I feel like will be perfect for the fall. The thing I really enjoy about this unit specifically is that they have the Littles Mammals books as well. And I did see that The Good and the Beautiful came back in stock with these. So keep your eye out. Go on their website if you are interested in the Littles books that go along with this mammals unit. Um, they do have these read aloud books uh, that you can go through the picture books I will link a full flip through of that video up here for you if you want to see the insides of the unit um, It goes way in detail about it and you can see what it looks like I also share all of the books for the littles. I love the good and the beautiful's littles section I feel like they keep coming out with just the sweetest things for that section um, Just to include your younger ones, you know, I'm excited about that the last kind of piece of curriculum that I'm sharing with you um, is The Good and the Beautiful's Typing One. I had aspirations to do all of the typing curriculum the first year and we didn't get through it because your girl got pregnant and then sick and then had the baby and postpartum and autoimmune disease and all the things. <laughs> so needless to say, grace upon grace, we are doing Typing One this year from The Good and the Beautiful. All right, you guys, so to be honest, I feel like our family is kind of on the struggle bus when it comes to siblings and fighting and things as, as of recent. 
And so I went ahead and I got my brother's keeper from Not Consumed. I believe it's Not Consumed Ministries. Um, I ended up purchasing, they have one on Taming Your Tongue. They have one on um, Contentment. They have a bunch of these amazing family Bible studies. And I am really excited about this. So my brother's keeper, I've heard so many of you guys talk about it and I was excited to finally purchase it. All right, so moving on, last I have just some books that I picked up um, for read aloud time in our home. The first is The Child's Garden of Verses. I plan to utilize this in our morning basket. A Child's Garden of Verses from Robert Louis Stevenson. The illustrations in here are so nostalgic. Um, they're just so pretty. Look at that. How pretty is that? makes me think of just old vintage um, illustrations. So pretty, such fun um, kids original classic poetry. And so I really like that, I'm excited about that. Some of the read aloud books that I got for our family include A New Coat for Anna, and this is by Harriet Z Zeifert or Zeifert and Anita Lobel. Um, and this was recommended to me at a secondhand bookshop that I had went to near me, so I went ahead and picked this one up. This next one is an original, and it's The Ox Cart Man, which I know many of you guys have read that. Uh, this next one I got thrifted. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace. I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace a lot for books that I can purchase secondhand instead of buying them brand new. This is Uncle Jed's Barbershop. And this is by Marjorie King Mitchell and illustrated by James Ransom. This one I did get off of, I believe, Amazon, Eyes That Kiss in the Corners, which I love this. I love, love this. And then the last one I picked up was Last Stop on Market Street. And I think I just got this one either from Amazon or from Target. So yeah, those are some of the books and curriculum that we're utilizing for this upcoming school year. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you got a glimpse into some of the resources that we're using for this upcoming school year. Maybe you got some ideas. If you have some really cool resources that you're utilizing and you wanna share with me, comment down in the comments below. I'm always looking for um, more resources and books and tools to utilize in our homeschool. Thank you guys so much for watching i look forward to putting out more homeschool content this year um, and i am so excited for this upcoming school year so good luck to all of you guys and your families be blessed as you embark on another year of schooling your children i love you all and i'll see you guys in the next